I sat here and told y'all, I said, do not count the Chiefs out. I know it doesn't look good. I know this is one of the more unimpressive seasons from the Chiefs. But I said, look, when they get to the playoffs and it's one and done, look me in my eyes and tell me you can definitively bet against the Kansas City Chiefs. You're telling me with a straight face, you're willing to bet against Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, Travis Kelsey, Christian. Like, look me in my face and tell me that's what you're saying. Everybody that I just named have two championships. And a majority of the team that wasn't around for the first championship were there for the second one. This is a championship team. Last year. Like, it's so crazy how quickly people forget. And again, I understand because of the regular season, because of how they look, because of their struggles, people just kind of was like, well, this isn't quite the same team. Yes, it is. I know it doesn't look like it, productivity-wise, but if you have Patrick Mahomes at quarterback, I will, again, it's, maybe it's just me, I will never bet against that, ever. Let's watch what happened, man. I cannot believe people, especially at home. So I heard this was the fourth. I think I read the third or fourth or maybe fifth coldest game in NFL playoff history. Like, and again, you know, just because you play for a certain team, like, I'm sure it's a lot of Miami Dolphins players who come from cold areas, but... I do think that is a factor as Pacheco just carves up, does what he does. I do believe that weather is a factor, and I'm sure a lot of the Dolphins players wasn't ready for this, this level of cold. Like, that was different. I think it was neg. I think they said it felt like negative four degrees. Crazy. And that whole drive was impressive, by the way. I know I did a lot of talking. That whole drive, a great combination of running, throwing, making the easy play, and then a quick, you know, cross route, touchdown. A lot of time, grip protection. Oh. And see, I told y'all, I love Tua. I think two is going to be great for years to come, but this is his first full season, one, first real time in the playoffs. Like, I, I, I just did not see him outperforming Patrick Mahomes in a big game situation. I just didn't see it. Now, maybe one day, but now, no. This is definitely still the Patrick Mahomes era, man. Definitely. That boy Pacheco is different. And I'm happy they utilized him, you know, the way that they did. Low snap, picked it up. Yo, even a play like that. Like, did you see how Mahomes, he didn't panic. Low snap, didn't panic. Gathered the ball, got his eyes downfield, got out the pocket, bought some time, and threw it away. But just small plays like that. Like, you know how many quarterbacks would have tried to do something stupid right there? That's just... I don't know, man. Again, I just don't know how you would bet against them, bro. I don't. My first time seeing Tyreek. I got him, but underthrew him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh, what's the flag? A flag comes down late the contact as the ball was in the air. But Tyreek Hill, quiet in the first quarter. Two plays into the end zone. Oh, it's going to count. Bro, that's crazy. He underthrew it, and Tyreek made the adjustment, completely covered, caught it. Uh, got off him, made the move, got in the end zone. 
Tyreek Hill is different, bro. And so is this guy. I saw uh, Taylor Swift with swag surfing. <laughs> One of the worst swag surfs I think I've ever seen. But I saw her out there swag surfing. Oh, MVS. I miss MVS, man. Former Packer. Gave us some great moments. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. Look at that, bro. That's that's championship stuff right there. On the screen. Just a great drive. Converted the fourth down. But just a great drive. Oh, dang. All right, third and goal. Uh, good hand. Good hand. But they staying ahead, putting bo uh, points on the board, not turning the ball over. That's the best way to win playoff games is don't beat yourself. Mm. Okay, going for it. Fourth down. You can't make a play with your legs. Oh, that's great defense by McDuffie. Great defense by McDuffie. I thought he was going to run and try to pick it up with his legs. Great play by McDuffie. And great throw by Mahomes. Pocket collapse and pressure coming through a dot. Through a dot. Third and seven. Good protection. Just threw it away. Again, like you, you want to get, you want to get in the end zone when you get, you know, in these situations. But he's, he, he's again, he's making the right decision. He's getting points on the board. The defense is holding up. There's no reason to make, you know, some sort of stupid mistake. Ooh. And as I said, he should make plays with his legs. He couldn't get the first. Dot. Dot. That was a great throw. And great adjustment by Gray. He wasn't down. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yo, bro, you cannot make this up, bro. Great decision. Throwing it to Rice in the flat. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And see, plays like that. And plays like that are momentum changes, man. When you getting bullied like that, getting pushed around. Oh my goodness, bro. Hit hard there at the two yard line. So third and goal. Mahomes from inside the three. Back to pass. Throwing back in the end zone. Oh fam. I thought he was about to complete that. I thought he was about to complete that. Oh my gosh. Once again. Making the right play, throwing the ball away, getting the points. That's I mean, again, you want to get in the end zone, but not turning the ball over and at least getting something is how you win these games. And this Chiefs defense is holding up. Miami can't do nothing right now. So at this point, the Chiefs could probably just field goal, you know, field goal them to death, which it looked like they did. All right, third and four. Uh. Tight 
tough. They get in the end zone. Oh my goodness. Direct snap. Pacheco made the. Oh my goodness. Yep. That's game. That's game. That's game. Great play call by Andy Reid with the fake. Direct snap. Fake pitch to Mahomes. Pacheco just bullied his way in there. That's a great play call by Andy Reid. I mean, just... Again, bro, I don't know why anybody... Again, I understand. When you've seen some of the games that the Dolphins had this year, it's like, okay, you know. But to bet against the Chiefs in the playoffs... Like, maybe against the Bills, I would probably understand, considering the back and forths that those, you know, two teams have had over the years. But the Dolphins just a little, at least, you know, two of because, of course, you got championship players on the Dolphins. You got Jalen Ramsey. You got Tyreek. But for the most part, a lot of these guys ain't touched the playoffs yet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, McDuffie is going stupid. I was going to say, is that McDuffie? McDuffie was going stupid. Oh, my goodness. Boy, Jalen Ramsey stand step for step with MVS. But yeah, the, the game over. The Dolphins can't get no momentum. I mean, it's, it, oh my gosh, fourth and ten. The last play was fourth and six. Uh, that's a dot. That's a dot. What happened right there? He didn't. He didn't complete that play. How is it the Chiefs' ball? Yeah. Oh. Good way to keep playing by the Dolphins' defense. Keep playing until that clock say triple zero. Got to respect it. The Dolphins going to be fine, man. They're going to be fine. They know they have their quarterback. They know they have their nucleus. You know, you got Tyreek. You got Mostert. You got Waddle. They're going to be fine. Got a respectable defense. The Dolphins are going to be fine. Just just not now. Not a, you know, you know, you got to, Tua got to show a little bit more to, to get over Mahomes, but. I mean, the Dolphins are going to be fine. Phenomenal season. I don't think anybody, you know, considering the injuries that Tua had last year, I think that this season is definitely one to be proud of if you're a Dolphins fan. Um, of course, you know, you're, you're upset. You're disappointed. You, you definitely wanted to win. You never want to lose. But just looking at this objectively I, I don't think any dolphins fan player or anybody in the organization should should hang their head at all like this is a great season and I, I think it's something to build off of moving forward as for the chiefs again man i don't know how you bet against them i don't know why people count them out they literally just won the championship <laughs> i mean you know, again, I know it didn't look as pretty as maybe their 2019 season or 2020, but it's the Chiefs. It's Patrick Mahomes. It's Andy Reid. It's Travis Kelsey. Like, these guys are just, they're battle-tested. Like, y'all understand, Mahomes has been a championship player since his since he stepped in the league. Like, like this is like, it's, it's, it's. He's he's proven that he's the guy. He's him. He's the face of the league. I understand he probably, you know, he doesn't play in the market that, you know, I'm sure the NFL will probably want him to play in the New Yorks, the Miamis, the, you know what I'm saying, teams like that, the you know, the um, Rams. But Patrick Mahomes is the face of the league. It's the reason why he's one of the highest paid, highest endorsed, highest rated. I think he was NFL's uh, top 100 NFL player, like, as he should be for the past couple of years. Like, 
it's him, bro. And, and again, when you got the great Andy Reid calling plays, I don't know how. I don't. Again, we'll see what happened next round. But I gotta tell you, I wouldn't be surprised if the if the Chiefs went back. I I, I wouldn't. I've been. I think I've been saying all year that my Super Bowl was. Um, the Chiefs and the 49ers. I still believe the 49ers are the team to beat in the NFC. Now, I would be lying to you if I say I didn't think that Baltimore, this was definitely their best chance to get it done. So, I'm thinking 49ers, Ravens. But, would I be surprised if the Chiefs went back? Not one bit. Not one bit. If you if you ask me which quarterback do I feel most comfortable with or who would I bet my money on one game game on you know million dollars on the line who would I bet on Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes I think anybody with common sense would pick Patrick Mahomes no disrespect to Lamar Jackson I think Lamar Jackson is literally in that same class but up to this point Mahomes has just proven more he's shown more and I just, I don't know, man. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. But shout out to the Dolphins again. Nothing to hang their heads on. Phenomenal season. I know we'll see them again. And let's see what the Chiefs do, man. Uh, Again, I wouldn't be surprised if they made another run. I'm not. Especially with Taylor Swift involved. Um you know, her presence alone, you know, what it's done for the NFL this year. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if the Chiefs went, you know, but we'll see. But y'all let me know how y'all felt about this game. Let me know how you feel about these two teams. If you're a Dolphins fan, how would you analyze this season? How would you rate this season? And the same for the Chiefs. How far do you see the Chiefs taking this? Do you think they beat the Ravens? Do you think they go all the way? Do you think they win it again? Let me know in the comments section, man. And uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time.